A beach, found a pelican nest. Around them are the dead pelicans which killed by hunters. Mike immediately took off his shirt. Bro the pelicans back home. Then he took a wooden barrel, which was lined with a newspaper and hay. Gently put them inside. But the little pelicans in a man's house couldn't survive the night. Because they are too weak. Then there's a big problem. It's too small how can to feed them? Mike thought of a way. He found a propeller. Then brought the fish to roast. Indeed effective, but only fish meat fluttering. Then Mike used a tube, bit by bit, to feed them. Seeing that they ate very well, Mike laughed happily. After the rain, Mike's father returned after fishing. He hurriedly pulled his father's hand, leading him to see the little pelicans. The father was also extremely happy, because since his wife died, Mike has never been happy like that. In the evening Mike used his father's scarf to make a nest for the weakest pelican. Even he slept beside them. Finally, brought the weakest pelican to embrace it in the nest. And the baby pelicans also got through the most dangerous night. The next day, his father made him a hand blender. Convenient for the boy to make food for baby pelicans. The days go by gradually. The pelicans were also grown up. Soft hair has grown on the body. They learned how to get food from Mike at night. He sneaked his father's glass and let them eat. But the sound of the pelicans woke him up. Mike was scolded by his father. He also named the pelicans. The father went fishing at the sea every day for a living. And by the way, found food for the pelicans. But when they get bigger, eat more and more. From half a bin at a time to a full box. In the end, two full tanks were not enough to feed them. The pelicans also produce beautiful feathers. They played with Mike on the beach. Wherever he went, they would follow that. Every morning, they embraced the father. Because they wanted him to take them out to sea to fish. But the fish are not enough for them to eat. They also took them to the market to buy fish. Mike led the pelicans walking down the street. The people on the street kept looking at them. They are all extremely curious. Even the owner of the fish shop said that was wonderful. One day the father told Mike, the pelicans should go back to the natural life. You can't take care of them all the life. Time to set them free. The boy was teary. But he still agreed. In the following days, Mike began teaching pelicans to catch fish. Once failed, twice. Twice if not, three times. The two men laughed when they saw Mike like that. And then Mike taught them how to fly. The boy opened his arms, running while doing flapping movements. Pelican also imitated. Finally successfully soared to the sky. But Percival just stood still. Maybe he didn't want to leave Mike. The boy hugged it sitting on the beach. Finally had to teach it one more time. Very quickly it also flew into the sky. But the day to say goodbye is getting closer and closer. The father brought them to the middle of the sea. The first and the second both quickly flew to the sky. Only Percival remained in his lap refusing to leave. Mike let it go, but it didn't want to fly away. Finally, he had to shout it out loud. It seemed to understand Mike's words. Finally, flew away. Father and son sat quietly on the boat looking in the distance. Back home, the boy felt loneliness which he never had before. He went to where the pelicans live. Hopefully, here he can find them. But did not see his pelicans. He also heard the gunshots of the hunter. Mike was extremely worried. He brought this to his father. Father can only comfort him. There will be voting next month. To build this place into a sanctuary. By then they are safe. One morning, the boy woke up. He was delighted to discover Percival's return. The father was also extremely happy to see. Since then, Mike and Percival never left each other. They accompany each other inseparably. The whole family also played a fun game of hiding and seek. The father even secretly showed Percival, so he could find Mike. Mike showed him a picture of his mother, and even confided with it. But they didn't know that they were in danger. Mike as usual led Percival out the street. But they met a hunter on the street. They also propagandized against the establishment of the reserve. Mike led the pelican on the street, and of course, they would muck. They even warned the boy. Mike just led Percival to leave. And when they were walking outside, they heard hunter's gunshots. They are ruthlessly killing birds. Percival heard the rush of him. A pelican is confronting a hunter. This is obviously taking the fighting eggs. When the hunter raised his gun to shoot it, Mike ran over. He shielded Percival with his body. He looked at the corpses of birds on the ground. Then turned to question them. The boy's father's friend heard the screams and rushed over. And chased the hunters away. But at this time, there was a great wave and winds at the sea. A storm was coming. The boy's father was in a hurry to return. But the boat's engine was broken. The boy rushed to the beach when he saw his father's boat overturned by the waves. Fortunately, dad was able to cling to the boat. At this time the boy took off his hat. 
tied the rope to the hat. Mike threw the hat in the air. Percival grabbed the flying hat towards his father. When the father held the rope, the two people on the shore didn't stop pulling in. Finally pulled him ashore. And the story of the pelican saving owner has also spread throughout the small town. People started to donate to him. The father also wanted Mike to go to school to get a better education. But Mike didn't think so. He ran away alone. Meanwhile, the hunters came here to hunt for birds. Percival heard gunshots immediately flew there. It flew like an arrow in the air. The boy in the back did not stop chessing. Percival quickly found the hunters. It flew straight to attack them. The hunter also pointed a shotgun at it. Mike ran while shouting, but still did not change the hunter's action. He still shot. Percival fell from the sky. Mike ran indignantly. But the hunter told him, I have no choice. I warned you before. After that, the hunters left. Father rushed to this time. Mike hogged Percival and blamed himself. He didn't want to let it go of his hands, even when he came home. The boy cried until tears all night. And Percival also left the boy that night. The next day, Mike buried it under a pillar. He seemed to have grown up overnight. He decided to leave this sad place to go to school. Years later, the boy became an old man. He brought the daughter back to visit this place. He stood on the beach and quietly felt Percival's existence. And Percival did not sacrifice in vain. Everyone heard what hunters did. They voted to build this place into a large sanctuary. There was also a Percival statue here to commemorate its spirit of protecting this land. It has since turned into a bird's paradise. Humans and animals are living under the blue sky. It can be said that people and animals share the same homeland. But every year, many rare and precious birds are mercilessly slaughtered. The abuse will cause serious consequences for the ecological environment. Hopefully, the slaughter of animals will be stopped soon. Today's movie comes here. Thank everyone for watching. Please follow the page to see many meaningful movies. Bye bye.